Welcome to miniatures.de, your military miniatures magazine. In this issue, we will scratch build chevaux de frise. They are the obstacles in the foreground, which can be used in 1 to 70 second scale field fortifications or fortresses. We make our Friesian horses from 2x2 two two millimeter walnut wood strips and plastic broom bristles which are easy to work with, look realistic, and don't cause any painful wounds if you happen to bump into these chevaux de frise during gameplay. The shaft of the chevaux de frise is a 2x2 two two millimeter walnut wood strip available at art supply stores. Friesian horses were between 6 and 12 feet long, and the one we're making here is 9 feet long. That's an inch and a half or 38 millimeters in this scale. On the top surface of the shaft we have marked nine holes into which pointed rods will be inserted. They're equally spaced with four millimeters between them and we're using a 0.8 millimeter drill. Another nine holes are marked on the side of the shaft but they are offset by two millimeters so that the pointed rods inserted into these holes are exactly in the center of the ones inserted in the vertical holes. For best results, center the drill bit on the shaft and try to drill straight through. Once the 18 holes are drilled, the shaft is filed or sanded to remove any excess material. Using a side cutter, clip one tuft of bristles from a road broom and use them to make the pointed rods for the chevaux de frise. These bristles also make perfect flagpoles, spears, lances and pikes. Using flat nose pliers, flatten the tip of a bristle. and shape it into a spearhead using scissors. Now the spears are shortened to 6 feet, the equivalent of 25 millimeters in 1 to 70 second scale. Assembly of the chevaux de frise involves inserting one pointed rod into every one of the 18 holes we drilled into the shaft. Make sure that you end up with two rows of nine spear points facing in the same direction. The pointed rods are easier to hold and insert into the shaft using pliers because you can exert more pressure and there is less danger that a broom bristle will be bent. It's a good thing if the broom bristles are a tight fit because then they don't need to be glued. Once the outer four rods are in place, the chevaux de frise needs to be adjusted so that it matches adjacent Friesian horses in height and alignment. That done, the other 14 rods are inserted into the shaft. Again, making sure that there are two rows of nine points all facing in the same direction.
In the event that a rod won't fit, the hole may have to be drilled once more. Voila, one chevaux de frise done, many more to go. Finally, the pointed rods are painted to represent wood or metal. We are using neutral gray acrylic paint for metal rods. This is an artist acrylic paint which doesn't need priming or undercoating. A size 4 flat brush is perfect for quickly painting the rods and leaving the wood unpainted. Let's take this opportunity for a little myth-busting. There's an oft-repeated misconception that soft plastics cannot be painted, that paint flakes off Airfix and other soft plastic miniatures. So in this experiment, we're going to paint this plastic broom bristle as a neutral gray flagpole, again remembering that it hasn't been undercoated or primed at all, and we'll see what happens when the paint has dried. Now that the paint has dried, we can bend this flagpole in any direction and the paint will stay on. There's no cracking, there's no flaking of paint. And there's a simple explanation for this. Artist acrylic paint does not dry to a crisp finish like enamel paint does. It stays flexible. And when we bend a plastic miniature that has been painted with artist acrylic, the paint flexes with the movement of the miniature and it stays on. There's no cracking, there's no flaking. Now that the paint on the upper half of the pointed rods has dried, we can paint the rest of them and complete our chevaux de frise. It doesn't matter much if we miss any of the red plastic on these broom bristles, because that will only look like rust later.
Right, and this is how compatible the Shivoda Freeze are, placed next to miniatures in a diorama or war game. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at miniatures.de.